may I welcome us very warmly to our service of Compline here from St Michael at the Northgate Church in Oxford. I'm sitting again in our Saxon Tower and probably the oldest room in Oxford. A warm welcome wherever and whenever you are watching this. And if we're watching this, if you're joining in as the evening falls, then may we thank God for the day. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. We reflect on the past day, and of our need of the love, forgiveness and mercy of God. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins and the peace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 6. In thee, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. And be thou my strong rock and house of defence, that thou mayest save me. For thou art my strong rock and my castle. Be thou also my guide, and lead me for thy name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have privily, that they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Into thy hands I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Tomorrow is Ascension Day, and we remember that our Lord, risen, ascended, glorified, seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us there. And we remember that as, as he left this earth, he promised the gift of his Holy Spirit, and that power would come upon his disciples and Paul picks up this word power in Ephesians chapter 3, in this great prayer. For this reason I kneel before the, Father, before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. And I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all God's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge. It may seem a strange prayer in a way, the idea that we need power in order to know that we are loved, that we need power in order to receive love. But for some of us, sadly, often through no fault of ours, there may well be a blockage in the way and something may have happened or 
part of our experience or background or upbringing, whatever, and we find it difficult to receive the fact that we are loved, treasured and valued, just as we are. And so Paul prays that the Ephesians will have power to grasp this, power, as it were, to move aside, <coughs> to move aside those obstacles. This ascension time, if any of us are feeling unsure about the love that we are receiving from others, unsure about the love that we are receiving from God and his purposes and plans for us, then may we also pray for that power that we may know that we are loved. Today also the Church commemorates the Venerable Bede who died on the 26th of May, 735 AD. His uh, day is moved early, it's for Ascension Day tomorrow, although in fact he did die on Ascension Day, so it was the same day in 735 as it is this year. Venerable Bede, by the grace of God, exercised tremendous influence through his writing, based in Jarrow, up in Northumberland, and his writing there, and his prayerfulness, and his teaching, uh, were really an example and a help across Europe, as well as across this nation, or the various nations as it was in those days. So let's also be thankful for all teachers and for those who devote their life to, stare, to prayer and to study and to writing. Amen. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of thine eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As, as the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen.
thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Mm. If one or two of us are wondering why this is um, recorded just by me, streamed just by me, rather than in our normal service, it's because our normal service is being taken by someone just exploring the possibility of uh, training for ministry, of a vocation for authorised ministry. And it seemed right to allow them to explore that just in the setting of the physical presence of people and without needing to worry about the camera as well. I know that I don't handle the camera very well and thank you so much for your patience and bless you for the rest of this evening, whatever you may be doing. Amen.